takes two sides to agree to a truce. And if that's what's happening here, it's something to be grateful for. Blue Bloods as a franchise has been around since September of 2010, which makes it one of the longest running crime dramas in the history of the CBS networks, and with incredible characters that fans have come to love on top of some engaging twists and turns. It's no surprise that it is still going to this day. But who are the richest cast members of the show, and how much have experts estimated their net worths to be? Well, whether you're a fan of the series or just want to know more about what has been happening behind the scenes, stay right where you are, as we're about to rank the richest Blue Blood cast members according to their net worths. So strap yourselves in and get ready for some jealousy as things are about to get interesting. But before we get into it, make sure to leave a like and subscribe with notifications turned on so you don't miss out on any of the new videos we post. Number one, Tom Selleck. First up on our list and taking the position of the richest cast member of Blue Bloods is the one and only Tom Selleck, whom fans of the series will recognize from his portrayal as the loyal and good-natured Frank Reagan. But his fame goes far beyond on the role that he plays on the show. With the man and his mustache being a true icon in Hollywood, it all started back in the 80s when Selleck took on the role of Magnum P.I. and became the quintessential lawman of our time. Other than this, the man has a long list of credits ranging from shows like Friends to Killers. Sources have suggested that he walks home with around $150,000 per episode of Blue Bloods, which is an insane amount of money if you consider how the show is currently in its 11th season. Keeping all of this in mind, experts have estimated his net worth to come in at a whopping $45 million, with which he could buy practically anything in the world. Luckily for us, it doesn't look like he will be leaving Frank behind anytime soon, even though he has calmed down significantly over the past few years to spend more time with his family. And with the amount of money he has in his pocket, we'd probably do exactly the same. Number 2. Bridget Moynihan The wealthiest woman in the Blue Bloods universe has to be Bridget Moynihan, whom fans will recognize from her portrayal of the enigmatic Erin Reagan. Her pedigree goes far beyond this role of hers, with things taking off for her back in the day when she was first recognized for her beauty. As a result, she was able to land cover after cover as a model. She then used her looks and appeal to land a role in the 2000 hit film Coyote Ugly, where she was finally able to show people that she was more than just a pretty face. Bridget's credits list is filled to the brim with famous shows and movies that include but are not limited to Sex and the City, Serendipity, The Sum of All Fears, The Recruit, iRobot, Battle of Los Angeles, and of course, John Wick. She's gotten around quite a bit with experts estimating that she has earned in the ballpark of 25 million US dollars from her time in the industry. And since she loves shooting in her hometown of New York, it's looking like Bridget will be around until Blue Bloods comes to an unfortunate end. Number 3. Donnie Wahlberg Although fans of Blue Bloods will recognize Donnie Wahlberg from his portrayal of Danny Reagan on the show, those of us from the older generation recognize him from something a lot less serious. In fact, Donnie started out as a musician in a band called New Kids on the Block, where he performed alongside his brother, Mark. Acting was always his true passion, which led to him securing roles in serious works such as Ransom, The Sixth Sense, Band of Brothers, and Dreamcatcher. And though it might have been true that Donnie was a bit of a forgetful face in the industry compared to his brother, things changed when he was given the chance to play Danny in Blue Bloods, which which caused his net worth and fame to skyrocket from what it was. He also knows how to make social media work for himself and even has his own TikTok account. According to experts, Donnie Wahlberg currently has a net worth of around 25 million US dollars, which means he can choose to retire whenever he wants to. Let's hope he doesn't though, as we love watching Danny Reagan getting into trouble. Number four, Len Cariou. Next up is the charismatic Len Cariou whom fans of the series will recognize as the one and only Henry Reagan. This Canadian actor got his start, where many professional actors do, by dancing and acting the night away on Broadway. After working the stage for quite some time, he found himself on the screen for the first time, where he started to make a name for himself with his acting talents. Len has been known to star in a range of brilliant pieces of cinema and television, which include Murder, She Wrote, Brotherhood, Power, Privilege, and Justice, Damages, Flags of Our Fathers, and about Schmidt. 
It was his portrayal of Henry Reagan that really made fans excited, and is considered by many to be his longest lasting character to date. The man has earned quite a bit of his long life in the public eye, with experts estimating his net worth to be around 6 million US dollars. With that much on the cards, you'll be surprised to hear that Len doesn't wish to retire anytime soon as he absolutely loves acting. Number 5. Marissa Ramirez Although the majority of fans know Marissa Ramirez for playing detective Maria Biez in the Blue Bloods universe, she actually spent the majority of her career in the soap opera industry. Not only did she portray the recurring role of Gia Campbell in General Hospital, she also went on to star in The Young and the Restless. In fact, viewers might even recognize her from the time she spent on the set of CSI Miami when she was younger, or Miracles before that. But to the current generation, she will also be known as Detective Maria Biez, who has stolen the hearts of many a fan. Unsurprisingly, Marissa has an estimated net worth of around 3 million US dollars at the moment, but is expected to do so much more in the future. With talent like hers, we have absolutely no doubts about that. Robert Clohessy Then we have the one and only Robert Clohessy, whom fans of the series will recognize from his portrayal of Lieutenant Sidney Gormley on the show. The man is an absolute legend when it comes to his acting career, which he began back in 1985. After spending a total of just 40 years in the film industry, Robert has 131 credits to his name, which is more than a fair share to say the least. Although Blue Bloods is a solid franchise for him to be known for, most also recognize him for the part he played in Hill Street Blues between 1986 and 1987. He has also been known to feature in shows that bend reality to a certain extent, as seen by his portrayals in O'Hara and The New Adventures of Superman. More recently, however, those new to Blue Bloods would probably recognize him for his work on the sets of Oz, The Avengers, Guiding Light, and The Wolf of Wall Street, where he played minor roles. Robert is a type of character who has never truly carried a show, but whose face is recognized by the majority of viewers. And we doubt he's complaining, as his long and lucrative career has ended up earning him an accumulated 1.5 million US dollars, with which he can live out the rest of his life with ease. But luckily for us, he has no intention of giving up his spot as Sidney Gormley anytime soon. Number 7. Abigail Hawk Next up on our list is the blonde bombshell herself, Abigail Hawk, who is the best known to fans of Blue Bloods as Detective Abigail Baker. You'll probably be surprised to hear that Abigail has been making a name for herself on the acting scene since 1995, but to date has only participated in around 13 projects for which she has been given credit. Before solidifying herself in a role in Blue Bloods, she was making prominent appearances on shows such as Across the Universe, The Unidentified, and Almost Paris, all of which has a good but not great following. In other words, it was her role in the vivacious Abigail Baker that really made her famous in the world of acting. Abigail has an eye for the actual filming process and has been known to work as a director from time to time. In fact, she's been credited as the director of The Peter Austin Noto Show, which was a success in its own right. So while fans might be wanting to see her in, in more projects in the future, it's more likely that she'll be sticking behind the camera when she isn't portraying the insatiable detective. And if you are wondering about her net worth, experts estimate that her work in the industry has bagged her a net worth of around $800,000, which is more than a pretty penny if we might add. And with a successful career as a director in her future, who knows how much she might earn in the years to come. Number 8. Sammy Gale Speaking of beautiful and powerful women, next up is Sammy Gale, who is most likely recognized for her portrayal of Nikki Reagan Boyle in the Blue Bloods universe. Although the young actress is considered by many to be one of the most hated characters of the show, there's no doubt that she has made a name for herself with her incredible skill and talents. It's her character that gets the majority of the blame after all. Funnily enough, Sammy's career actually began in an off-Broadway remake of Gypsy, which led to a pretty successful career in plays before landing her first role in front of a camera. Outside of the Blue Bloods universe, fans have recognized her from her role in As the World Turns and Stolen, where she appeared alongside the legendary Nicolas Cage. She's probably best known for her critically acclaimed portrayal of Erica in Detachment, where she put on an emotional performance alongside the one and only Adrian Brody. Although her career has just started, she's been able to amass a net worth of around 500,000 US dollars, making her one of of the wealthiest 25 year olds in the world. So what do you think of our ranked list of Blue Bloods characters? And if we've missed out on your favorite one, be sure to let us know in the comment section down below.